Three, two, one, go! So are we trying to do yeah. one single sheet? No. We need? You, you have as many as you need. Okay. So what's going on? We have a FT build off. Jeremy had the challenge. So, come with me. A few months ago, Josh built one of these guys. <laughs> It was a lot of fun. So I'm like, why don't we all build one of our own? Have fun out on snow. The snow is melting. We're on the clock. Yeah, we're on the clock. So let's do it. So the rules are simple. You have a limited amount of foam. You have ESC. You have a motor. You have a motor mount, which by the way, these are 3D printed. You have a servo and a receiver and a good old the Hyperion G7 valve. So what's your plan, natural, Jeremy? Natural... Well, like a three pontoon type situation going on with some sort of popsicle sticks or something holding them together. I thought that might be interesting because th with the design I did before, it went really well straight. It did not turn very well. Maybe with those three pontoons, I'd have more control. So a little more challenging build. Here goes nothing. Good luck. I'm gonna see if I can use one sheet of foam to make a snow skimmer, right? Ooh. So this is my thought process. I'm gonna take a full sheet, I'm gonna peel back, and I'm gonna start bending the foam and make like a boat situation and just- Is it gonna be one giant ski? It might, it might be a ski, foam. it might be a ski. That's we'll awesome. see what happens. Man. All right, Chad, what's your strat? Uh, start cutting and then figure out later. <laughs> oh, nice, I like that. <laughs> and Stefan's peeling and then figure out later, I think yeah, so. Yeah, Let us know in the comments, what would you have built with your one sheet, two sheet, three sheet? Which skimmer would you have built? Oh, that's, Ooh, that's that nice. So this is how you hold the foam. You just use your entire body. And as Josh always says, the table is your friend. friend. <laughs> oh, I need a pen though. Can I use a pen? No. Uh, top drawer. <laughs> top drawer, dude. I mean, if you guys need a handicap, that's fine with me. <laughs> All right, so if you've ever made a paper airplane, essentially this is going to be a foam board 3D version rendering of a paper airplane. I have no idea where I'm gonna mount the motor or, you know, anything. Maybe it'll just float. Any progress, Chad? I went for a dual, like, boom system, but I, I think I want to change it again. Definitely learning. Trial run, you know, throw that away. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this front nose here like this. I'm gonna maybe do some twerking. Twerking? <laughs> <laughs> Please do not do any twerking. And tweak the back a little bit. Still have to figure out how to mount a motor. I've committed though, so it doesn't really matter. About a mast. <laughs> What part are you designing right now? What is this? No, this is the top of the boom thingies. I'm not really sure what I'm making. Looks like you're not alone. <laughs> Dude, snow cone. <laughs> snow cone. <laughs> snow oh, I like that. Just going for it, chopping in half. Gonna go, we're gonna go hard or go home. You can always go smaller. You cannot grow foam out of nothing. They say measure twice, cut. Remember that, my dad taught me that. This is something called scribing. Since I have a curve here, and I want to translate that and countersink this down, I'm just using a circle, oh, no. which is a pen, and then marking it like this, so this will seat down inside of this. Okay, I've got a couple of little shows. Stephen, what the heck is happening? <laughs> and then glue this down, it gives you a lot of rigidity. I see what you're saying. Unfortunately, I have one piece of foam. You don't have to stay with one piece of foam. Oh, well, I, okay, I okay. do. Okay, okay, that's the motto. Only because I told my fans that I was gonna stick with <laughs> one, and I wanna be stay true to my fans. <laughs> so, on the little, like, side supports, I put a piece of wood underneath of them that stick down, so hopefully they'll track a little bit better. Oh, oh Bangladesh. Crazy. <laughs> Look at John. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look at that. Dang it, I forgot that you're supposed oh. to put things on after you put your wires in. But no, I glued it in first, because this is like the fourth foam thing I've ever built. There you go. Finally doing it. 
finally doing it. It's gonna happen. <laughs> We're opposite. <laughs> what names have you bestowed upon these crafts? Mine's the wing dinger. <laughs> it's got wings, but they don't work. <laughs> Mine is the Why? Wing. <laughs> it looks like a dog's tail. <laughs> We're stepping. Here he comes. Ay, ay, ay. We all go at the same time. Yeah, so we got what the snow cone, the wing ding, and the why. Why? Right? Yep. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I'm backwards. Nose weight. That's amazing. That is awesome. Hey, well played there, dude. Oh, Whoa. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Daddy is my man. Coming in hot. Woo! Success. Ian, go grab me more nose weight. Good luck, yes, man, bro. Hey, and I gotta be honest with you, I say to the one chip phone, baby. Oh, yeah, Let's go. <laughs> Why me? Let's go! <laughs> so I, I think you mine it. can be built out of one sheet of foam like I threw I away think two all of them can, can do a yeah. one sheeter. Dude, hey, they all work though! <laughs> oh dang, you got me! So just so you know, you can literally build something out of nothing at any point in time with foam, with sticks, with hot glue, with tape, and a little bit of power. We wanna inspire you guys to build something. You inspire us all the time to build crazy things. And this is a one day situation you can do in probably three or four hours, Definitely. and you can go have some fun with it. So go inspire us, go build some cool stuff, and we'll see you guys next time. See ya. Boop.